actually we don't know a lot, a lot of uh, gene therapy in kidney disease so the state of art are really brief uh, <coughs> because we don't have a lot of studies uh, on clinical trials for kidney disease uh, what we know actually is that uh, we we found a type of vector some uh, an AV adeno associated uh, uh, viral vector for uh, that, that is suitable for kidney diseases uh, <coughs> And so we, all the animal models that are used now to develop gene therapy for kidney disease are using this kind of uh, vectors. And so we are screening a lot of different types of AAV to uh, try to find the best one uh, who will reach the specific cells and we have a lot of specific cells in the kidney with a very complex architecture in the kidney and so uh, in the next years probably that we will find the best uh, vector to reach specific cells and to try to reintroduce a specific gene in a favorite cell. And the main limitation is uh, clearly the architecture of the kidney because uh, the kidney have a very complex uh, architecture with uh, <coughs> some, uh, some holes some pores uh, that are very uh, little, very small, and so uh, we have to, to, to try to find a way to uh, direct it the vector from the blood circulation or from the ureter uh, <coughs> vessel just to the specific cell. And uh, this is a very, a very strong limitation, this is the first limitation. The second limitation is that uh, the vector, our favorite vector, which is the AAV, uh, can bind only a, sequ a DNA sequence, a small DNA sequence, or uh, 4,000 4, uh, base pairs, and most of kidney genes uh, are more than 4,000 base, uh, <coughs> base pairs. And so uh, we have to combine some strategy to try to uh, reach cells and to integrate in cells uh, the combination of dif different parts of cells, uh, of uh, genes, sorry, <coughs> just to re-express the full length of the gene in the mutated or in the diseased cell.